fellow DaVinci Resolve users, uh, recently I made some macros, they're basically uh, templates or presets for DaVinci Resolve, which uh, I just made for my own edits so I don't have to keep redoing the effects. So I made some for some white transitions and a some glitch effect that you can use for transitions or anything really. So I just thought maybe other people might be interested in using them, so I just, I'll just i leave the link in the description below. And the files are only about 6 kilobytes each, so pretty small. And you can download them and use them for uh, personal projects or commercial projects or anything really, I don't really mind, just uh, don't go and like sell them or something. So um, anyways, let's have a look, a uh, quick look at how they work. First let's have a look at the wipe transitions. So right now we're in the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. So let's say you want to transition from this first clip to the next clip using our wipe transitions, right? Right now it's just a normal cut. So what we have to do is basically I've designed the effect to take place over a period of 14 frames. So what we have to do first is move the playhead to the cut point and now we're going to move it backwards 7 frames. You can just use the arrow key on your keyboard, just press it to the left. Every time you press the arrow key to the left, it's going to move the playhead backwards 1 frame. So let's press it 7 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we're going to use the blade tool and make a cut right here. And then again move the playhead back to the, the cut point. And then we're going to move the playhead forward 7 frames. So you can just use the right arrow on your keyboard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then again, use the blade tool to make another cut, right? So what we've done is basically created a little section where our transition effect is going to take place. But before we do anything else, first of all, we've got to use the arrow tool and then highlight both sections and then right click and then go to new compound clip, right? And then you can just name the new compound, compound clip whatever you want. Let's say uh, transition, how imaginative. Uh, and press create. There you go, now we created a little section where we can use our wipe effects, right? So now we're going to move the playhead back to the, over the little section we just created and then go to the fusion tab. Now if you follow the link below and you download the files, you're going to have like some files that looks like this, right? Wipe transition left and wipe transition right. And also you can have the glitch file as well, but right now let's just look at these two. So as I said, uh, it's going to be only 6 kilobyte. You can save it anywhere in your computer, in any folder you want. All you have to do is just drag the file down into the Fusion window, right? As, as you can see, once I drag the file in, you have like li this little effect node called Wipe Transition Right. Or if you want to transition, uh, wipe transition to the left, you just drag the other file in, right? And all you have to do is just place it between the input and the output. You can do this several ways. You can just drag with your left, uh, left click and drag, and then hold shift on your keyboard. And then when you drag it in between a line and let go, it's gonna basically be placed between the input and the output. Or you can just double click to delete the lines, and then you can just drag a line from the input into the effect, and then from the effect to the output. Now if we play our little section here, as you can see, the transition effect is happening right now. Uh, obviously, the first time the computer plays through, it has to render it, so it's not going to play real time. But after the first time, then it can, you know, after it's rendered, it can play the effect real time. So uh, right now, it's just rendering. Might take a few more seconds. Come on, computer, don't let me down. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. But as you can see now, our little section uh, is having the transition, wipe transition effect. So we go back out to our edit tab and we play our clip. When the playhead gets to this little section here, it's going to uh, create a little wipe transition. So let's play the clip. There you go. Ah, just like that. Quite simple. So if you want to transition, uh, wipe transition to the left, all you have to do is just drag the, the other effect file. So drag the wipe transition left file in and then just place it between the input and the output. And just exact same procedure, you just have a transition that wipes to the left. Okay, so uh, now that's the wipe transition. Let's have a look at the, the glitch effect. Now with the glitch effect, there's no time limit. So you can place the glitch effect on like, let's say a 10 second clip or a one minute clip, and then it will just keep glitching for 10 seconds or one minute or one hour or whatever you want. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna make it so that we're gonna use it for like a transition. So what we're gonna do is place a small glitch at the end of this clip and then at the beginning of the next clip. So it basically glitches over from the end of the first clip to the, the beginning of the next clip, like a transition. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna move the playhead to the cut point and then maybe move the playhead backward, let's say three frames, one, two, three. And then again, make the uh, a cut there, move the playhead to the cut point again and move it forward three frames, one, two, three, and then make another cut. 
In this case, we don't actually have to uh, create a compound clip. We can just place uh, the glitch effect separately into each of these sections. So let's go to the first section first and then go into the Fusion tab. Again, if you follow the link below, you have a file or something that looks big. Well, it looks like this basically, Thai Photos Glitch Transition setting. Again, 6 kilobyte, And you just have to drag it into the Fusion window and you have again an effects node right but this time the use is uh there's a few more options you can play around with so first of all um, it's quite important that you drag the uh, input into the green the green node the, or the green arrow and then the output just goes to the the media out right so as you can see once i drag once i place the effect in my effect is uh well my clip is glitching right now but obviously it's only three frames long so it's it's going to be a bit mental right now but um the first thing you can play around with is if you go to the inspector tab and go to the first tab here you can play around with the colors of the clip so right now uh, if you uncheck red you'll get like a color with red and cyan if you uncheck blue you get blue and yellow and if you uncheck green you'll get like green and magenta or you can un unclick uncheck both and just leave blue or just uh, just leave red or just leave green it just depends you can play around with it or you can just tick all the boxes and it basically just glitch without without any colors basically now that's not all another thing you can do is instead of just connecting it to the green input you can also connect the input to the the yellow arrow as well now as you can see it's uh, not all it doesn't just glitch but it also like kind of deforms the image a bit so as you can see it's a more kind of even more glitchy than before and again you can also play with the colors play around the colors as well right so basically it's up to you if you want to just glitch kind of like a chroma glitch so just have like a kind of a colored edges or if you want some deformation as well you can connect the input to the yellow arrow as well right so let's say for the first glitch i might just use the color fringing and then for the next section when it transition to the next clip in this little section here i might make it more kind of deformed and even more glitchy so again i just drag the the transition file right into the middle and again connect the input to the green arrow and connect the output to the media out right but this time i maybe want to deform it even more so i'll connect it to the yellow arrow as well ah, there you go deform glitch quite a bit so what's uh, let's go out to the edit tab and if we play it as you can see it just glitches over from the first clip to the next clip so the first section it just kind of start start glitching just with the color fringes and then when it gets to the next beginning of the next clip then it glitches even more before coming back to normal so basically you can just play around with the colors and the, uh, the different types of glitches just whatever you want really maybe you can get some cool effects or, or something like that well that's all there is to it really um i hope it's useful to someone maybe hopefully <laughs> i don't know well i hope maybe i'll see you around i guess bye